All right, good afternoon, colleagues. I, I think I'll try to be fast and uh, not eat into the time for the next presentation. So I'll proceed to the next slide, please. All right, so uh, maybe a, a bit of uh, geographic uh, background for those that may not know. Uganda is located in, in the eastern part of Africa and uh, it's bordered by South Sudan to the north, uh, DRC to the east, um, that's to the west, sorry, then Kenya to the west, to the, to, to the, to the east, and uh, Rwanda and Tanzania to the south. So I must say that we've not had any cholera outbreaks in country until uh, since 2021. And uh, um, and I also must say that uh, most of the cholera outbreaks that we've experienced in country have 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 been detected in districts that host refugees, and districts that also have water bodies. So where we'd expect a lot of fishing. Um, we used the cholera. We, we've we've previously used the OCV vaccine, and. Uh, the last, the last doses that we had in country were consumed in 2021 when we had that outbreak. That outbreak was in a refugee settlement. It was localized there. This settlement is called Nakivali Refugee Settlement and it's at the southwestern border of, 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 of Uganda. Uh, again, if I must say, the country hosts about 1.5 million refugees and about, uh, about two-thirds of these come from DRC and about a third of them come from uh, from, from neighboring South Sudan. Uh, again, most importantly, all the countries that surround Uganda are responding to outbreaks currently. But uh, we have been lucky. I don't know if it's luck being lucky, or perhaps we've done some. We've we've, we've 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 gotten our house in place, and that's why we're not having outbreaks currently. Um. But also, I must say that uh, the risk still remains, and as much as we're not having cases now, the risk still remains, especially for districts that border some of these countries and uh, the districts that are currently hosting refugees. And the country is still, is still accepting in new refugees, so that, that, that even poses more risk to us. Um, and again, uh, the gains that, we, that perhaps we could attribute to the to the, to the previous OCV campaigns that we had in country uh, shall need to be consolidated with further efforts in, in all the key pillars to ensure that we don't have a resurgence of these outbreaks. We could go to the next slide, please. All right, so in terms of strategy, uh, I must say that we have, uh, or we had an NCP that we developed between 2017, that we developed in 2017 and it was running from 2017 to 2022. Unfortunately, it came to an end, and we are in the process of, uh, of, of developing a new one. However, in that NCP, the, the key areas of focus, uh, in terms of coordination and stewardship, uh, we established, first of all, we established EOCs uh, at, at the national level and at regional level, we have seven EOCs. And uh, there's also a, na a national cholera task force uh, which is composed of uh, different sectors headed by the Office of the Prime Minister. Uh, there's also social, social mobilization and community empowerment, and uh, this involves social, social mobilization activities that are, due, that are geared towards the community to raise awareness and uh, to also help in behavior change. Uh, there is also increased access to safe water, uh, sanitation and hygiene, these campaigns uh, were mostly uh, focused in areas that were identified to be hotspots. And uh, I believe uh, between 2017 and now, there have been some major improvements in as much as they're not sufficient as yet, but there's been improvements in, 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 in regards to wash in some of these hotspot districts. Uh, then we also have enhanced surveillance and early warning. Um, we, we've officially we've rolled out the IDSR version three, and uh, this is still ongoing. Uh, we focused on uh, hotspot districts first. Uh, this is where we rolled it out first, particularly to help in early detection and uh, and reporting. Uh, we also did some cross 
cross border uh, uh, maybe before i get to cross border we also try to strengthen surveillance at the points of entry because we know so many people come into the country so we try to strengthen uh, surveillance at the points of entry by by doing some capacity building trainings for the health workers at the points of entry uh we've I, 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 I should say that in terms of cross-border surveillance, we've tried, but uh, it's still a big, big challenge. Uh, we know the risk this poses, and uh, it's something that we want to explore further, especially with our neighbors, to make sure that we, 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 we come up with some joint strategies as, uh, as a region to make sure that we do not have some of these outbreaks being imported into our country. Um, Again, like I mentioned, we, we have used the OCV, that is the vaccine, uh, in campaigns that were spread out between 2018 and 2021. And uh, we vaccinated in about 14 districts. And for those districts where we did vaccination, I must say that we sh we've not had any outbreaks since then. Um, we've also done some strengthening of case management and IPC. Uh, in, in, in hotspot districts that were previously identified, uh, there was uh, identification of uh, potential cholera treatment centers and uh, orientation of healthcare workers regarding cholera case management and IPC. Next slide, please. All right, so if we could get the key achievements, the first achievement is that we've not had any outbreak in country in as much as most of our neighbors are responding to outbreaks and uh, we believe that this is due to one that the fact that we had this ncp that we tried to to use first of all for, for resource mobilization but also to try and coordinate activities that uh, we developed within that plan uh, secondly we have good political will and uh, leadership this is from both the president and uh, the ministers and the different di the different ministers uh, that are outside health. Uh, and then we also have supportive partners, uh, especially the GTFCC, that helped to get us vaccines, and WHO plus other partners. I cannot mention them all. Um, then the other key achievement is that we had the uh, OCV, where we used the cholera vaccine in hotspot districts. And uh, for all those campaigns between 2018 and 2021, we managed to vaccinate over 2 million people. And we, we, we believe this, well, this is uh, attributable to, to good partner support uh, to help us, first of all, to get the vaccines, but also to coordinate all the activities relating to vaccination. Uh, the other is that uh, we've also had uh, a new hotspot mapping done. And uh, we've come up with new hotspots based on the data that, uh, and I know Professor Sack here has also uh, done some of this work in coming up with some of these hotspots. Uh, we've identified some, and of course, like I mentioned, the, the burden about refugees, the data that we are having is that most of uh, these uh, hotspots are districts that are particularly hosting refugees. Uh, we could go to the next slide, please. All right. We, in as much as we've had all this success, uh, it, it it comes with a bit of challenges. Uh, of course, the cross-cutting challenge of uh, lack of funds or inadequate funds. Uh, but to this, we believe that once we uh, we we come up with a with a fully compiled new NCP, we can use this for resource mobilization. Um, then we've also had these uh, competing outbreaks. I know this has also come up in quite a number of presentations. Uh, we had a prolonged COVID-19 outbreak, Ebola. Uh, these, uh, these hampered some of our efforts geared towards cholera and some of the activities that we had planned as per our NCP. So some of the activities were delayed and some of, our, the, some of the activities were not actually implemented. Next slide, please. All right, so our priorities uh, for the coming year is that we hope to finalize the NCP, uh, hopefully by December this year. And uh, following development of this NCP, 
we hope that we shall implement it. So based on what we find, uh, we shall use it to mobilize resources and perhaps uh, as well apply for GTFCC for, for cholera vaccines. And we also hope to update our operational guidelines uh, for case management and IPC. Thank you so much. That brings me to the end of the presentation. Help us on tech. Thank you very much. All right.